In Psalm 23, it says, he leads me by the still waters. We've had Bible translators who have told us we can't say that because still quiet water means malarial swamps. And so they've even opted to translate, he leads me by the good waters. If we look carefully at the Hebrew, al me menuchot yenahaleni, along restful waters, he will lead me. And the issue is two, because one is, where in the world are you going to find water in the desert? It doesn't take more than a few hours in the desert to realize how totally scarce it is and how dependent you would be on the shepherd to find where there might be some source of water. Because down here on the outskirts of Jericho, we can see the oasis that is a result of a rich spring of water. Rain that fell in the hills up in Jerusalem and north of Jerusalem seeps down thousands of feet and comes out as a rich spring of water year around. But between the Jericho spring and Jerusalem is this rain shadow desert and it's only in a few deep canyons where the erosion has cut down deep enough to expose that deep level where the water is seeping along and there are occasional springs, even in the desert. And if you don't have a shepherd to find that rare spring of water, or if you don't have a shepherd who has dug a hole where he can catch winter rain, a cistern, and pull the water up to water the sheep, then you're just not going to survive. The importance of water in the desert is emphasized by what we're seeing right here, this quiet, restful water flowing in an aqueduct from the time of Jesus. And when you think of what tremendous effort it took to build an aqueduct for miles from a spring way up in a desert canyon and to bring it through this aqueduct down into the desert oasis of Jericho, it just emphasizes once more the importance of water in the desert and in Psalm 23, the importance of the shepherd, the total dependence of the sheep on the shepherd for water, for food, and for protection.